Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's like a gunsmith one one here here again. Uh if you've seen the last video, I made a little bit of a montage kind of. It was of my three best guns that I think I made. It was the MP seven, the law, and uh who who could have forget forget the vector, which is really cool. But uh this is a new addition to my collection, which is really nice. M4 Carbine. That's right, I rebuilt the M4 Carbine. This time I made it a whole lot better with uh, about eh, five attachments. I don't know if you include the mags, but it's really nice. So we'll start out with the gun and I will grab it. So you can see uh, barrel, I made it gray. Uh, front sights right there, really nice detail. Um, just all along the barrel, Picatinny rails. Um, you can see I also made the uh, uh, catch right here. Let you see that. It's on its side, so <laughs> so I'll put it back. Where, there you go. So that's the catch. Working trigger with a rounded trigger hold. Really cool. Uh, handle grip. I made this gray, so it kind of looks like a rubberized uh, grip for comfort. Uh, stalk. Really cool, I'll take that off. That's a really nice stalk. I improved my stalks for my M4 carbines like a lot, so that looks really cool. It's adjustable so you can put to where you want. Um, another thing I've added that you probably guys have all been waiting for, a rubber band powered um, uh, shell ejector right here. Uh, so that's cool, rubber band powered. Yeah, that's really cool. Um, another thing I got would be the uh, clip ejector right here and your unjammer. So that's really cool. There's another look at this part right here. Alright, so we got the Picatinny rail, we got all the stuff figured out on the gun. Now, let us go into the attachments. I'm going to place this gun down and we are going to go into the many attachments of the M4 carbine starting off with the short mag so we'll grab that short mag is really cool it's got the bullet on top a standard rifle round like I usually have for my other M4 carbine if you've seen it so right here alright so there you go you got your short mag you all happy so there we go short magazine go like that and I have the long magazine which has uh, another round see two rounds um, and this one is a little bit tricky to get in but I used no tape for it whatsoever all I go that's cool here and I'll place this in the back you can see that the gun looks pretty sick with the clip in and everything take that out well actually I'll keep it in so here we'll keep it in and we're gonna put on the back sight now which is this cool little back sight I'll place that on the back and now I'm gonna redirect it so you guys can see the sights which are really cool so there you go there's your sights really cool uh, different it's a little bit different from the uh, M4 sights but it is pretty cool, like I tried to make it like a little bit of an advanced sight. So, well, anyways, moving on. Uh, next up I have the two other, like, uh, types of sights, which are the ACOG and the hollow sight, or is known as the holographic sight, and the Modern Warfares or Battlefield 3. So I'll place the gun down, grab one of those. You can see the ACOG sight has uh, spinning little uh, adjusters for the zoom and stuff does not zoom but still cool for the effect so you can see right there it's a really cool sight and that mounts on the gun well you get the idea it, it, you get the idea so um, I'm not gonna put that one on but I am gonna put this one on just because it looks so sick it is my holographic sight Mm, I didn't use a red crystal at all in here, but I did use the white so it looks like regular. 
And it is cool because when you really do put this on, you got yourself a slamming gun. So, to that. So now it looks just a beast right now. This gun is just so nice looking. So I'm going to turn around. And that's pretty cool. So that's really cool. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Prop this gun back up for you. And the clip just fell down, so I'll take that out. Then again, I do not use tape. Uh, if you realized, I did use tape for my MP7, but that was only for the one magazine. Uh, if you see that, I do not do that really at all. I do not use tape. It's just that was an old piece from a long time ago, and I kind of used it as a last resort. So uh, that's another Lego gun. I'll see you guys later.